My name is Deanne Bedner, and I'm the coordinator of the programming here at the Straubel Studio. So I oversee and teach classes and workshops and activities on natural building and sustainable living skills. We're at the Straubel Studio, which is um, a rural location on land outside Oxford, Michigan, which is about an hour north of Detroit. A rocket stove is a... Um, a simple handmade device for creating heat and it's generally the idea is that there's a, a J shape in um, that there's tubes that cause a J shape and then uh, wood is put into the smallest part of the J and is the combustion is at the bottom of that and then the combustion gases go through and up the tall part which is acts as a chimney and when, these, when this is firing, it shoots out, the um, flames can shoot out and look like a rocket. That's where it originally got its name. You'll see some examples of that, and we'll show you how to put together the combustion chamber. This is a little diagram of the, a side view of the combustion chamber, which uh, will be, I think, more clear as we see other uh, e examples on the property. Uh, but essentially, there's a 15-gallon steel barrel that the wood goes down into. The fire goes sideways. It's actually called a downdraft stove because the fire is going downish. The air is coming down into it. And then there's a chimney that's made out of brick and that is called the heat riser. And that is like an internal chimney that's driving the whole system. And then the gases come on the outside of the chimney and down the inside of that 50 gallon barrel and are collected up in, in a sculpt, sculpted with, an, with earth to bring those gases into an eight inch pipe. This is a drawing for an eight inch system. So here we have the, what are called the guts um, of the stove. There's a little wood over here. And the wood is put in vertically in what's called the feed tube and goes through down the feed tube through the burn tunnel and up what's called the heat riser and this is the chimney that drives the system. There is a, a relationship of uh, heat riser to burn tunnel that's very important and the, the chimney should be twice as tall as this um, chamber in here. This can also be used to cook on um, and you can have a, a barrel over this and have the barrel radiate so there's there's variations on it and there's a book that um, I'll show you some pictures in later that show some different variations. People are definitely experimenting with this concept. So this is a rocket mass heater and so we're taking the same combustion unit that we saw outside Inside here is that brick J-shaped uh, tunnel that goes up, and you can see the bricks up here, if you can peek over here. And then around the brick chimney, we've done some insulation in a metal cage with perlite and some clay and water, so we, we're insulating this heat riser. Here's our barrel for protecting the fire if we need it, uh, if we need that it's optional according to how the fire is running that day. And then over this goes our steel drum. This is our 50 gallon steel drum. So you can kind of see how the gases will come down and drop in around the barrel. And then they're going into an area here that's being confined down to an 8 inch pipe that runs through the bench and out the building. And we've made this into a work of art, we think. Um, with lots of animal sculptures and the hawk over here and little animals uh, crawling around on it. This is designed to be to sleep two people um, because it would be heated and nice and warm. And this is the rocket stove heated bench in the red shed.